Hi guys, welcome back. So I hope you're having a lovely weekend so far. Today I thought I would do a really nice, just chilled, chatty video all about the upcoming trends for the autumn winter 2017 season. So we have to really cast our minds back to the catwalks that we saw in spring of this year, feels like forever ago. But it's now that we're starting to see the trends from those catwalks coming into the high street and we are slowly but surely starting to think about what we're going to be wearing in autumn winter. So in today's video I'm going to be sharing my top 10 trends and these are the trends that personally I feel that I will get at least a little bit of wear out of and I will briefly mention a few of the other trends as well. There's a few that are slightly less wearable but I've picked out my top 10 favourites. Thankfully a lot of the trends that we're seeing this autumn winter are actually trends that have been trendy in previous seasons as well. So for example there's a big trend for oversized knits and midi skirts. That's something that has kind of always been around for year after year so that's one trend that we're not going to have to buy anything new for thankfully. And even fluted sleeves, you guys might remember if you've been on my channel for a while how quickly I adopted the OTT sleeve trend. My first big purchase was that Club Monaco jumper and luckily for me and you guys as well if you also invested in the OTT sleeve trend it's coming back this season so we can whoop out our fabulous frilly jumpers once again. <laughs> Another thing that was really prevalent throughout the catwalks is that this season it really is all about fun. I think that there's there's just so much horribleness going on in the world at the moment and the designers wanted to use their clothes to just bring a bit of joy into our lives and use the clothes to lift our spirits away from the negative and very draining news. So we're going to be seeing lots of fun. Think pink faux fur jackets, frills, feathers, all that kind of detail and I'm very much okay with that. We're also going to be seeing lots of soft power dressing so it's all about accentuating our femininity so things like the aforementioned fabrics like frills, feathers, fluff, that kind of thing but also cinched in waists and that's going to be achieved with things like waist belts and coats that tie in at the waist as well, another trend that I'm very much excited to try. Alright so let's get started with my top 10 trends of the autumn winter 2017 season. The first one which I have already started to dabble around with is red to toe. We saw so many designers featuring red in the catwalks ranging from Givenchy, Max Mara, uh, Fendi even and it really is the standout colour of the season. Personally, I'm not sure I can pull off a full red to toe look, which is of course head to toe red from the blouse or the dress, the trousers and the shoes, but I have picked up some really lovely red accessories, one of which I actually have right here. It is this bag um, and I think this looks so high-end and designer, but actually it was very affordable and this is just one way that I've been injecting the colour of the season into my wardrobe, but without investing in a full outfit. So. Any things like this that I mention will be linked down in the description box, of course, as well as what I'm wearing, etc, etc. So yeah, we're already seeing the high street start to get a few of these trends in. Red, I've spotted loads of red in Zara, obviously accessories from places like Topshop, River Island. Uh, Mango has some beautiful red dresses in there, so it's a really easy trend that we can adopt fairly affordably. The second trend which I'm quite excited about is fancy tights. So no longer are tights going to be an afterthought, but they really are central to your outfit. It. One of my favourites was um, the tights shown at the Mulberry Catwalk. They were kind of nerdish but really cool at the same time. Such an affordable way to add a trend into your outfit and once again the high street is a great place to find really fun yet effective tights to just add a little bit more fun to your outfit. And as well as Mulberry we saw the crazy tight trend over at Celine and at Balenciaga as well as you can see from the pictures on the screen. Another trend that I'm really excited about is feathers, frills and faux fur. So as I mentioned earlier it's all about the textures this autumn and this is definitely one trend that I'm very much excited by. It's all about touchable textures as opposed to patterns. So print patterns, maybe a little bit of leopard print here and there but it's all about those touchable fabrics. While I am still on the lookout for one of those really lovely cozy teddy bear jackets, I have already invested in some pink faux fur. This one is from ASOS and I just love the colour. It's almost like a grey, purple, silver faux fur. I thought it was quite a mature way of wearing the pink faux fur trend. So that's another piece that I've already picked up for the autumn winter season. Trend number four is the maxi bag. So I don't think that we're going to be seeing the summer mini bag trend going away anywhere um, anytime soon, but it definitely is all about the maxi bag this season. I have actually also picked one up already from Topshop, which is absolutely beautiful. And it also encompasses the touchable textures trend. We saw this trend on the cat 
catwalk from brands such as Michael Kors, Proenza Schuller, Shil Sander, and also loads of interesting details like leather tied into knots, tassels, detailed stitching, etc. So definitely look out for this kind of thing once again on the high street because they are already out in the shops. Number five, again, I hinted to this earlier, but it's all about the chunky knit and the midi skirt. This is a trend that I'm sure most of us can pull out from our wardrobe straight away without having to buy anything new. It was Dior and Balenciaga that really showed this off to the maximum. And personally, I find midi skirts to be the most flattering length. Topshop have a really beautiful pleated one in at the moment, which is also an asymmetric hem. Hemmed at the calf to really show off your ankle boots or even sandals while it's still a little bit warmer, but a pair of studded ankle boots is definitely the greatest way to star this trend. Trend number six is the artsy boho dress. We saw this at Alexander McQueen, Gucci, Valentino, and once again, it's a trend that I'm really excited about. It's a way of injecting a lot more femininity, again, into your autumn wardrobe. There's definitely some 70s vibes going on here, but again, it's a really great way of transitioning your summer maxi dresses into the autumn season. Just pair them with some ankle boots, a leather jacket perhaps, and a waist belt, and your summer dresses instantly become more appropriate for the autumn season. You could make like Isabelle Maron and pair with some slouchy over knee boots to take off another autumn winter trend and what I really loved about this trend is that Elle referred to it as I think it was like couch pastels or couch florals yeah I think it was couch florals they said if you feel like you're dressed like your grandma's living room then you've probably got the trend right a few pieces that um, I have already actually behind me let me show you so this is um, a dress that I have from Topshop it is a really good transition piece floral but still perfect for that boho autumn um, trend really nicely fitted at the waist as well and you've also got the frill texture here so ticking off two trends in one this with ankle boots a black studded waist belt to toughen it up perhaps a black leather jacket would really hit the nail on the head for that particular autumn trend and then my personal favorite is this one from Zara it looks really sheer because I've actually taken the slip out of it because I need to shorten the straps but this color is absolutely beautiful you've got um, it's kind of mid calf level and then you've got some smocking to really add to that feminine silhouette really beautiful soft material if I hold it up against me you can see the color a bit more clearly but this is a really good one for the couch florals trend that we're seeing and the maxi dress trend and the feminine silhouette trend <laughs> Trend number seven is actually a colour, another colour, and it is periwinkle blue. We saw this on the catwalks in spring summer at Celine, at Balenciaga, Miu Miu, and once again already seeing it on the high street. I've seen some magazines and bloggers calling it cobalt blue, but personally I think that anything on the spectrum between cobalt and periwinkle, that blue shade is really on trend. I just really like the word periwinkle, um, but I find periwinkle in particular to be a lot more muted and soft on the skin tone, so I've already invested in a periwinkle. I really love saying that word periwinkle. I've already invested in a periwinkle blue dress and I'm looking for maybe some corduroy trousers in that color as well or a suede skirt in that same shade because I think it's very versatile and easy to fit in to an autumn winter wardrobe. Trend number eight is the womanly waist. So there was a bit of a wave of feminism before the catwalk season started which led to a lot of very powerful slogan t-shirts and definitely some very feminine power dressing too. Louis Vuitton, Dior, Hermes, they all cinched in the waist using waist belts or if they were going to be wearing an oversized coat they again would be pulled in at the waist which again is a trend that I absolutely adore. Anything to enhance the feminine silhouette is a good trend in my book. So I predict we're going to be seeing a lot more wide belts on the high street. I've already seen a few in top shops, some like corset style ones, and this is really going to be emulating what we saw on the catwalks. Number nine is 70s fabric. This last season we really saw almost every era represented on the catwalks but I think the 70s is what stood out the most especially when it came to fabrics. We saw lots of shearling, lots of corduroy, lots of denim and lots of 70s floral prints. One of my 70s favourites was Chloe, I'll insert the catwalk picture here so you can see the look that I'm talking about but it's just the florals and the colours in that real caramel taupey 70s vibe that I absolutely adored. Personally I'm not too sure if I will be going down the corduroy trouser route but I am on the lookout for some autumnal corduroy skirts so I'll keep you posted if I find any of those. I think that's a really nice feminine way of wearing that trend. And then number 10 is belted coats. I have mentioned belting in your coat in the feminine silhouette trend, but belted coats altogether is its own trend this autumn winter. Again, another one I'm very much excited about. We saw this mostly at Louis Vuitton and Miu Miu, just really adding a lot of femininity to that coat, whether it be a trench, a wool cashmere blend that just has a matching belt, or even a faux fur coat. Everything was cinched in to really enhance the feminine figure. 
So those are my top 10 trends for the autumn winter 2017 season. I really hope you guys found this useful and that I've given you some food for thought on what to look out for when you next go shopping. Uh, here on my channel I'm going to be having loads more fashion videos coming your way including a new fashion haul video every single day next week so please make sure you've hit the subscribe button uh, so you don't miss any of those. Everything that I mentioned in this video will be linked down in the description box as always as well as what I'm wearing etc etc so check that out for more information um, and also for more fashion trend advice and chats and things like that check out my blog fashionmumbler.com because I post on there really regularly loads and loads of fashion content so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you very soon in the next one bye